Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of k and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we move this 49 to the right hand side and when we multiply 49 with 1 it will become 0 k minus 1 whole square is equals to 49 and uh, further in the next step in order to find uh, the value of k we need uh, to apply square root on both of the sides so when you apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here k minus one is equals to here we know that a square root of 49 is equals to seven and because we apply square root on both of the sides so that we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides so that we write it on the right hand side and in the next step we move, uh, we break this value into the two cases the first case is we write k minus 1 is equals to plus 7 the second case is we write k minus 1 is equals to minus 7 so from here we move minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become 7 plus 1 and we get k is equals to 7 plus 1 is 8 so this is the value of k and from here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 7 plus 1 so we get here k is equals to minus 7 plus 1 becomes minus 6 and this is the value of k which we get here from second method so uh, here in the first method we get two values of k and now here in the next steps we first need to verify that is both of these two values are solution or extraneous root so for verification of the values now we need to copy down given question statement here it is k minus 1 square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and here in this side we will be verify k is equals to 8 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to minus 6 so here uh, first we need to verify k is equals to 8 and we substitute k is equals to 8 into the left hand side and it will be written as 8 minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and uh, we have 8 minus 1 becomes 7 square divided by 49 is equals to 1 so we know about that 7 squared becomes 49 divided by 49 is equals to 1 so these two are cancelled out by each other and we get 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of k is equals to 8 is satisfied our given question statement uh, and in the next step we need to verify k is equals to minus 6 so that we substitute k is equals to minus 6 into the left hand side and it will becomes minus 6 minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and further in the next step we have minus 6 minus 1 becomes minus 7 square divided by 49 is equals to 1 and minus 7 square is becomes here a plus 49 divided by 49 is equals to 1 so these two are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of k is equals to minus 6 is also satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question and uh, the solution set of this question is that uh, minus 6 and 8 so this is the our solution set of this question uh, uh, and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method and uh, in second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so that the given question statement is k minus 1 whole square divided by 49 is equals to 1 this is our given question statement 
and in this method we uh, give you an other uh, smart way in which you can easily get the value of k so here in this method we first move this 49 to the right hand side and it will be written as k minus 1 whole square is equals to 49 and here we write our uh, we move 49 into the left hand side and it will become k minus 1 whole square minus we write this 49 as 7 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further in the next step uh, here uh, we use uh, another nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is over a and the base of this term is over b so uh, after applying this formula we write here our above equation as uh, this is k minus 1 whole square and the value of a is k minus 1 so when you put both of these values here it will becomes k minus 1 minus 7 into k minus 1 plus 7 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further we have k minus 1 minus 7 becomes minus 8 and minus 1 plus 7 becomes here plus 6 and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k minus 8 is equal to 0 and the second case is we write k plus 6 is equal to 0. So from here we easily get the value of k is equals to 8 and from here we easily get the value of k is equals to minus 6. So you see here from both of these two cases we will get here same values of k uh, and further uh, in the first method we already verify that both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement. So finally we have the solution set of this question is that minus 6 and 8 so this is the our solution set of this question this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos